Eastern PA Weather Authority Meteorologist Bobby Marchant here with your outlook for March 16th, 2018. For your Friday, still going to have a northwesterly flow aloft across the lakes here, but I don't think we're going to be dealing with the precipitation today. Uh, maybe a stray flurry early on uh, across far northeastern Pennsylvania, but I think for largely most of the area, we're going to be dry today. Uh, but we'll, because of that northwesterly flow aloft, we're still going to have partly cloudy skies this morning and then, and then mostly cloudy this afternoon in spots. Uh, just with that instability created with that flow across the lakes. But uh, no, again, uh, no precipitation expected this afternoon. You can see that here in the afternoon, nothing really going on anywhere in the coverage area. And uh, yesterday's uh, snow showers that uh, came through at some parts of the area, rain slash snow showers, were uh, with some weak vorticity moving through. We'll not have that today. So we're expecting partly cloudy skies early on, again, partly to mostly cloudy in the afternoon. Uh, so that, and that's that, that's about the extent of it that we're dealing with today. So going forward from this point, uh, Saturday we're going to have a system that's going to be moving off to our southwest. I do think it remains far enough southwest we don't uh, get affected by it in our region whatsoever, which of course is this area right here. Uh, but you could for a time have uh, an increase in clouds that would be probably be favored across southeastern Pennsylvania, Delaware, southern New Jersey. Uh, but we're not expecting any precipitation, uh, just expecting this to slide off to the south. But you will have an increase in clouds when that does happen. So this is, for those areas at least, we'll have probably a period of mostly cloudy skies on Saturday as opposed to partly cloudy in the, in the middle sections and mostly sunny further north. So that's going to be the difference in your forecast with that system sliding off our south, but does not affect us with precipitation on Saturday. So it does remain dry through the weekend. We go to mostly sunny skies on Sunday and probably Monday too for that matter. Uh, Monday is also a mostly sunny day. Then we're going to turn our attention to this system off to our southwest. This is going to be a very interesting sy uh, uh, system, and how this develops is still yet unclear. We don't know if this is going to be one of those deals where, uh, where we're seeing snow to rain, or if it's going to be a mostly snow event. Or if it's going to miss to the south, that's also a possibility. A lot of different scenarios with this, but it does look like it's mostly a Tuesday into Wednesday type deal. Uh, and this could be a prolonged event. Uh, if some of these models are correct, it's still hard to understand exactly how these features are going to line up, but the models are at least indicating that you're going to have a system moving into uh, the Tennessee Valley, maybe the Southern Ohio Valley also, and it's going to force a redevelopment to a secondary. It's going to pop a secondary down here, uh, which is then going to take off and head to the northeast. This is going to be another one of those Miller B uh, transfers. There's a very strong high pressure uh, projected to be in this position over Quebec at this point, so this will... Uh, help uh, filter in cold air and give us the cold air source that, uh, necessary to provide snow for some areas. And again, this is going to be one of those, uh, you know, mostly the interior favorite areas for snow, but that's not necessarily going to be true. Uh, this might be a, uh, you know, depending on where this tracks, it could bring snow a little bit further south than is currently indicated. But again, you have the primary here transferring to a low right about here, and that's going to take over as the new primary move up in this direction. Now the question remains, uh, again, if this is going to remain too far south, then this is going to slide out and maybe just the extreme southern areas get into this, or uh, if it comes a little bit further north than projected right here, where it would result in more rain, more warm air brought into the situation. A lot of different possibilities, but this particular model just happens to like the idea of getting more snow, at least for the interior, so we're going to have to keep an eye on this. Um, it's not impossible to see snow this time of year. It is still winter. I know it's like right around the equinox here, uh, but you can definitely get snow this time of year. It's like, uh, by the time of day that it falls, is definitely going to be a little bit more critical in this scenario because if it's falling during the day and it's light, you're probably not getting any roadway accumulations, and it might be a situation where it's falling and not necessarily sticking even on the paved or non-paved surfaces. So a lot of things that we have to look at over the next couple of days. And uh, here's something I put up in the forum I just wanted to share with you. These are all the, this is the reason why we can't get this forecast nailed down right now. And it won't be till over the weekend when we start uh, honing in and fine tuning a little bit. Uh, but this is the graphic of all the different pieces. There's six of them in total that will make up our system and how these all behave and interact and strength position, that kind of thing of each of these features will determine what happens with our system. Uh, out of this mess right here, uh, which was taken from a infrared satellite image earlier on Thursday, uh, but out of this mess will emerge our system that's going to affect our region in the Tuesday, Wednesday time frame. This is number two here is the lead shortwave coming that's it's gonna stay to our southwest that I showed you for Saturday that uh, might bring a few clouds and that's about it. 
uh, but that stays off to our south. Number three is our system from a few days ago that is now up over Nova Scotia that's going to eventually move up toward southern Greenland and in its wake will be number four, the high pressure that's going to give us the cold air uh, supply for the system when it comes in our vicinity. All right, so that's a, that's something we have to keep an eye on too. Uh, this is a kicker piece of energy that will come in and help fuel that secondary development. And this piece here uh, is a southern stream system that will merge in with this system when it's out in the western United States. So a lot of different pieces involved here. Uh, that will integrate into uh, what will become our system on Tuesday and Wednesday. Whether or not it's our, our, our system or not still remains to be seen. That Again, that could slide off a little bit too far to the south or just do a slight graze for some areas. Uh, might come a little bit farther north and give more people rain and supposed to snow. A lot of uncertainties right now that we have to work out. And when all these things start coming together and they get better sampled by the model guidance, I think we'll come to a better agreement of what's going to happen this weekend. So any solutions you're seeing right now uh, with that system, you could probably just uh, throw them out the window until we get to the weekend or probably uh, maybe later afternoon runs on Saturday or Saturday night before we get a handle of everything of, this, of, of exactly what this thing's going to do. And even then, we're going to have some fine-tuning to do up until the the event starts and that would of course involve our first and second calls prior to the system if needed okay but this is our system right here Wednesday it goes all the way through uh, looks like uh, Wednesday and then we start to uh, we return to partly cloudy skies by the time we get to Thursday which you can see right here so we do eventually kick this out uh, but this could be one of those systems that just kind of sits on the block here it just gets trapped and just sits there and might and gives you uh, snow for a uh, longer duration period of time Several possibilities with this system we'll re-examine as we get a little bit closer over the weekend. I'm Eastern PA Weather Authority Meteorologist Bobby Marchers. That is your outlook for March 16th, 2018. Have a great Friday.